Okay, we're going to have a look at question 4 from exercise 11F. Now, the first part asks us to evaluate an indefinite integral because we're not given limits. So that's x to the half minus 4 and x to the minus a half minus 1 with respect to x. Now at the moment you don't know how to integrate a product, so something times by something else, so we're going to have to expand these brackets. So when we expand the brackets, x to the half times x to the minus a half, we add the powers, so that gives us x to the zero, which is actually one. Minus four times x to the minus half gives us minus four x to the minus a half. Minus one times x to the half is minus x to the half and minus 4 times minus 1 is plus 4. So tidying this up, x to the 0 is 1, plus the 4 is 5, minus 4x to the minus a half, minus x to the half. So I'm going to have to integrate this tidied up version. So there's my integral I'm now going to work out. Now when I integrate 5, I get 5x. When I integrate minus 4x to the minus half, I get minus 4x to the half, adding 1 to the power, and then divide that by a half, dividing by the new power. When I integrate minus x to the half, I'm going to get minus x to the 3 over 2, over 3 over 2. And I mustn't forget, because it's an indefinite integral, I'm going to have a constant of integration. Now, tidying this up, 5x. 4 divided by a half is just 8. And then x divided by 3 over 2 is 2 over 3. x to the 3 over 2 plus our constant. So that's part A done. Now in part B, they ask us to use our answer to part A to evaluate a definite integral. And what we're evaluating is this between the limits 4 and 1. So we've already worked out that when we integrate this, we get this stuff here. So all I've got to do is I've got to work out what that is between the limits of 4 and 1. Now, of course... If we're doing a definite integral with limits, that means my constant's going to disappear, so I don't need that anymore. Between 4 and 1. So, substitute my values in. Well, when x is 4, that's going to be 20. 4 to the power of a half is the square root of 4, that's 2, times 8 is 16. And then... 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is going to be the square root of 4, which is 2, to the power of 3, which is 8. So then 8 times 2 thirds is going to be 16 over 3. And I've got to subtract what I get when I substitute 1 in. So it's going to be 5 minus 8 minus 2 over 3. Now, when I simplify those, I get minus 1 and a third for the first bracket. And for the second bracket, I've got 3 minus 2 thirds, so that's minus, minus 3 and 2 thirds. That's the key bit here. Don't forget, that's what you get when you work out what it is for 4. That's what you get when you work out what it is for 1, and you've got to subtract those. So this becomes minus 1 and a third plus 3 and 2 thirds. Which gives us our, fi so our final answer is 2 and a third. And that's the question finished.